Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you um, a wrap dry technique that I use to blow dry my hair. It's a modified wrap dry technique because it kind of gives me a different effect and a look from what a usual wrap dry technique uh, is supposed to be doing. Before I start my video, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Agla. I'm a mother of one, skincare enthusiast in my 30s, and I talk hair stuff as well. So if these are your interests, um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on all my social media. All the links to, all, to my website and my Instagram will be down below, so check those out. Okay, let's start the video. So, as I said in the beginning of it, I'm gonna show you my version of um, Wrap Dry because it's kind of modified to suit for what I want and need from uh, my blow dry. Basically, wrap, what wrap dry really does is, basically, when you wrap dry, the intention is to uh, blow dry, wrapping the hair around um, your head. And uh, when you do that, it kind of straightens the hair, flattens the hair, because you're using the shape of your head to wrap the hair around and blow dry it that way. So what I want from my uh, wrap dry is I want to get a little bit of a body uh, to it, a little bit of a bounce, a lift from the root really, but I don't want a proper um, blow dry, a blowout, because I really don't like that look for short hair. It's just not for me. It looks nice on other people. I don't really like it. Um, so the aim with my wrap dry is to get a little bit of a body in the root area. And so I use this technique to do that. So my theory is, is when I blow dry my hair around my head, I don't flatten it. I just blow dry my hair in the, all the directions of the head. So I'll blow dry my hair that way, this way, that way, this way, using the shape of my head. Um, but I don't flatten the root to my head, if that makes sense. I think once you see the video, it'll make sense. But what I do is I just blow dry the hair in all the different directions. So when the hair is dry, because it's been blow dried in all the different directions, it has a little lift in the root area. And so it gives me this soft blow dry uh, that's really natural, that's a little bit bouncy at the root area, but is not huge, blown out. I especially like to use this technique when my hair is a little bit longer, when it's lost its um, haircut shape, and I just need a little bounce, a little, a little lift, um, to make the haircut, well, what's left of it, a little bit more neater. For this blow dry, all you need is a hair dryer and a flat, um, hairbrush or a paddle brush. Um, I like to use this big one from Moroccan Oil. I've had it for years and years. I got it for free on a show I did for Moroccan Oil and I've just been loving this hairbrush. It's huge, but I like it. So as I said before, I pre-filmed the video. I'm gonna insert it now. Okay, so my hair is about 60% dry. I mean, it's more dry than usual just because I've been, I was setting up the lights and doing the bits and bobs around the house, but here I am now. So what I like to do is always start on one side with nicely combed hair. So I always start with the opposite side of my parting. And I like to start with the lower section of the head and get those bits dry first and then I dry everywhere else.
so once I'm done, I part where I usually wear my hair. And that's it really, it gives me that kind of soft, natural blow dry. It's not puffy. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please leave the like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Bye guys.